You know, I got to say, I was pretty surprised because um, there's not too many bands out there that uh, that come to mind that have armies. I'd, I'd say Kiss have one, or they used to have one, and that's that's pretty much it. But then, no, that's not so. 48 May have an army. I'm here with John and Stan from the 48 May. Um, Captain John. Well, Thank you can't you can't be the captain because yeah, that, that's hock, isn't it? Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe Major John. I make people call me the Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> tell it, look, stars. look. Tell us about the army. Um, the army started up pretty quickly. Yeah, like you said, it started originally as a street team. But um, the Brown brothers, Jared and Shannon, were really big Kiss fans, and so they were like, "Man, let's turn it into something else. Let's make it something more." And so, yeah, it was inspired by the Kiss army. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of grown to epic proportions and they have like cards and everything and it's cool because you know, like, uh, I guess it inspires some kind of like fierce loyalty as well because our fans are so awesome, you know, it's like, um, they hard out just get behind everything we do and everything, eh? So I think the May Army has, uh, has helped us a lot along the way, it's brought us to where we are. Brilliant. Now, um, I, I was talking to, uh, to, um, one of the people back at Juice before who happens to be an honorary member nice. of the May nice. Army. And, and she was telling me about how she was at um, one of your shows and there were a number of young girls running around quite besotted with you and almost in tears over, over just having caught a glimpse of the Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, that's going to change now that Stan's in the band. You know, yeah. he's stealing all my limelight. But, um... <laughs> It's his birthday today, so I got to treat oh. him nice. Oh, happy birthday, Stan! Thank you, and and actually welcome along. Cheers as well. Um, now you're you're the newest member of Forty Eight May. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the circumstances under which you joined the band, and maybe we could make this um, kind of as sensational as possible. <laughs> well, I was kind of happily doing my thing in other bands, and all of a sudden one day a black van turns up, and these guys <laughs> with masks pull me in, and hit me around a couple of times, John being the main one, and now I'm here. Wow. Yeah, against my will. Did, did they erase your, uh, your your previous memories as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me that my name was Stan, actually. <laughs> <laughs> An I'll point disaster my way. Okay, what, what happened to Jared? Um... It's crazy, man. It's like I've been hearing so many rumours flying around and everything about it, but uh, it was actually nothing that sensationalist at all. I wish it was a cooler story, but... So he didn't go and join the Peace Corps in Afghanistan? He didn't. He's not helping out all those needy kids, the bastard. No, I, you know, I heard that, like, I heard that I bet him up. That's my favourite rumour, that I bet, up, I bet up Jared real bad. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> Jared would murder me, I think, but that was cool. So I kept that one going for as long as I can. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the truth of it is, is that before 48 May... Um, he was in a band called Mama Said, and he was like the front man. He's, he's got a set of pipes on him like you wouldn't believe. Like, he's just such an amazing singer. And um, I think he just got a little tired of being behind the drums, to be honest, and wanted to get back to, to singing and stuff, which is fair enough. So um, he's going back, and he's writing and stuff, and, and working on a bit of solo material and singing again. And, um, yeah, I think he's just... I think it's time for him to call a day with, with the May, eh? So we've, we've, been, uh, we've had a breath of fresh air in us with, with Stan joining up, and it's really cool. It's, like, just brought a whole new dynamic to the band. So... While we were really sad to see him go, I guess it was, you know, we're also really excited about the future. <laughs> now look, let, let's talk about the new album, uh, Streetlights and Shadows. There we go. First of all, got to say, great artwork. Thank you very much. Uh, where, where did you find that gentleman, Alexis Van der Hachen? Van der Hachen. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, he's actually like a really, really young kid from Belgium, and um, sounds really dodgy. A young kid that hook found, <laughs> hook found on the internet. Um, but, uh, yeah, like Hook's a real IT nerd, and like he, you know trolls through all those like um you know band forums and everything it sounds so bad it sounds so bad sorry hook um yeah and like this guy had like some of his art up there and everything it was like amazing it's all like 3d animation um and he's only like 21 years old or something and um so hooks hooks sort of i guess known this guy for a few months now and then hit him up about doing our artwork sent him over the cd and um yeah we got the, we got that back so we couldn't be happier with it we really like it brilliant where i shouldn't be Uh, let, let's talk about the other art within um, within the uh, nice. CD case. Yeah, hey, hey, nice. hey, hey, wow. nice. Uh, I think the last time we spoke, um, Nervous Wreck and Big Shock had been recorded. Right. Um, so, so tell me about the rest of the recording process and, and the writing process of the album. Um, 
I guess the recording process part was really fun. It was really exciting, you know, like um, with, the, with the new songs and everything, it gave us a chance to explore a lot of different ideas and everything. And I, I think as well, the songs have left a lot of room for interpretation for Stan, for Stan to build on. You know, it's, it's like a completely different style of drumming. Um, that it's going to be awesome to kind of explore that in the future with them. As far as writing goes, it's actually it's actually kind of a depressing story, man. Like you know, we um, heaps of like heaps of like personal stuff and, and family issues and everything kind of put the writing process down on the priorities list for us. And um, when it came time to write, I just I couldn't do it. Eh? Like I just wasn't in the zone. My head was somewhere completely, you know, where it shouldn't have been, I guess. And and um, when I finally did start to write, I found that I, I was only really writing about you know these kind of things that were happening to me, and it was. It was almost like kind of cathartic writing about them, like really getting stuff off my chest. So a lot of the album, um, while it's not really a downer, you know, like there are there are songs in there that are about you know like great great things as well. But um, a lot of it is kind of self help for me, you know. Mm. So that's why I guess a lot of the tracks on there lyrically and everything they're a lot more personal to us, which makes them you know, a lot more satisfying for us, but also a little harder to talk about as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, Stan, how was it um, coming in and and adapting your style of drumming to the well, band? It's pretty sweet, eh? Like, I enjoy this album, and they I hadn't heard it before they asked me to join, so they, they gave it to me and had a listen, and I was like, oh, yeah, and I actually really dug it, so, like, it's kind of an unbiased opinion on it, too. Like, I actually genuinely enjoy it, and now it's going to be a lot of fun to play, and Jared wrote some really good parts in it that I'm more than happy to play for him, and I look forward to writing with these guys, too. Like, John's a really good songwriter, and I think that we'll find a nice middle between us. Drag the other guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is yeah, it right here. Yeah. yeah. When we get into our uh, hardcore death rap scene, yeah, I think you and I will really shine, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are undertaking a bit of a tour for the album. Um, I, get, I think at this day, at this stage, we're looking at around maybe July or something. Um, mm -hmm. Shannon is Shannon really shines when it comes to like you know booking tours and everything like that. Like he's, I did his forte, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know, nothing definite pending yet, but um, we're definitely on our way to working on a nationwide. Yeah, yeah. Watch the website. It's usually a pretty good indicator of what's happening and what's not. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, and and for um, those people out there. Who, who are all like, I want, I want to be part of the May Army. What do they have to do? Go to 48may.com and... Sign up. Yeah, you get sign a, your you life get a away. flash new card that's like the uh, album artwork. Yeah. Business awesome. card. Yeah. A number and everything. A number and it, and it puts you in the, in the uh, draw to win heaps of prizes and stuff. Like um, some May Army members won, uh, we did an album preview a little while ago. Uh, like an acoustic set before the album came out and you could win uh, tickets to go to that. So yeah, it just uh, helps us get closer to those kind of kind of people and everything and, yeah, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, like a kid won tickets from Dunedin and got flown up and everything, so it's, oh. it's a lot of fun. Great stuff. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, Streetlights and Shadows uh, out now. Go and get it. That's 48 May. And tell you what, should we, should we watch Big Shock? Let's do that. Let's yeah. do that. Let's watch uh, Big Shock. Watch the girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs>